All right, folks, Chris with C3. I'm gonna do a little uh, edge retention and play a little bit today with the uh, C3 Rocky Mountain Bushhawk. The, uh, truly a dedicated bush crafting tool, not just a uh, wood processing hatchet. Okay, got the geometry, much of a good knife, convex edge, hand honed, hand shaped. Yeah, sharp as you could want. So, as everyone knows, cardboard is pretty abusive um, to the edge of a knife. So, what better cardboard box to cut up to give it a shot, give it a test. So, uh, let's see here. Piece of wood. See if I can get this right here. Okay. There you can see she's really as sharp as you could want. Go the other way, it'll curl a little bit better. I forgot a piece of paper, or we could do a little shave test like that, but you can see it's plenty sharp. Some might say it's obsessive to finish the edge on a surgical black Arkansas oil stone, but you know, hey, I don't. Try not to wedge it too much because it does the part mostly. have the length of a, a knife so you kind of got to go in little strips and keep it cutting. Feels same so far. You know, cardboard really varies in its density, so it's like one swipe you take feels, you know, a little harder. The next one feels really easy. So it really is just... It has a lot of variation in it. And that's what makes it such a good test to cut. Um, got a lot of really hard little spots in it. Switch directions. So you can see it really. It's 
Seems to be doing pretty good so far. The RC on these is, is being targeted 57. Got to claim uh, 55 to 59. Um, just to be real accurate and you know there is some variation it's a lot harder to um, get the geometry or the RC on a hatchet um, unless you just harden it and just temper it all to one one hardness but these are have a really nice differential tempering so the front front edge good solid inch, inch and a quarter, um, fully hardened. Same with the back hammering side. The eye um, was left in a pretty soft state. Helped, you know, kind of like a sword. Um, you don't want the blade to shatter. So you have uh, a little bit of a differential tempering to the blade. That's no, not any new information for anybody who knows anything about axes, but Always got to cover the bases, you know? Okay, most of these tests that I'm going to do, I'm going to, uh, I'm not going to be resharpening this. Um, so we're going to do a variety of things. So it'll be more than one little video. But I wanted to start with this little edge retention test here. Wow. Still feels pretty much like a little razor Let's see here Good. right Let's see in the sun here this piece got a little bit of moisture on it so it's not super super dull or hard rather so as you can see I can do shavings to do a, you know, fat wood, feather sticks, whatever. Um, I don't think the, that uh, box affected the sharpness at all. And you can see. So, very, very good steel. 1060 spring steel for the Colorado Bushhawk. A true bush crafting tool, not just for wood processing. So there will be a full line of videos, you know, showing all the different things. You can use it like an ulu knife from Alaska, chopping up veggies for your stew, hatchet, gut your fish, skin a deer, you name it. Call it out a bush hawk. Hand done, 100% made in the good old US of A. Alright, from C3 Knives. C3Knives.com Contact me, Chris, at C3Knives.com Chris at C3Knives.com Thanks.